Muhammad Rafi is a name that's synonymous with the golden age of Indian cinema. And even though he passed on in 1980, he's still considered to be one of India's greatest singers. Niraj Bahari is a Jersey-based legal practitioner who's also passionate about singing. And he was inspired by the voice of the legend to mount a concert presenting his classic numbers. And Mela attended an evening of Rafi. Muhammad Rafi is still remembered and revered as one of the greatest singers of the Hindi film industry. It's believed he recorded well over 7,000 songs, not only in Hindi but also in 13 other languages spoken on the subcontinent, as well as English, Arabic, Farsi and Dutch. He's truly an immortal artist and among his ardent fans is advocate and singer Neeraj Bihari. Muhammad Rafi is one of India's all-time greats. He is a famous Bollywood singer in the time of the black and white Fulham song. Some of the songs that he sang for Fulham, he did not take a token of money for it. Every musician, every singer, every vocalist has his own character and certain things appeal to him. For me, Muhammad Rafi speaks about the stories of common men. All of his songs that I've listened to from a young boy really appeal to my inner being. The orchestra, the types of instruments, the characteristics of the people who play the different instruments, just bring it into a whole new level. It's taking the idea of the music notes and giving them real life. And I think that in South Africa, we really need to take our local music to a different place. I think it needs to become more progressive. And unless we don't engage in these types of things, with different ideologies, different types of musicians, then we'd never grow. Neeraj was accompanied by the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Eddie Clayton. It's been a wonderful journey marrying the Western and the Eastern feel, especially with the tablas incorporating in with, with, the, with the Western orchestra. And it's kind of surreal to be here now in this moment expecting the show tonight. So it's been a long journey for me and I'm exceptionally excited about it. As the audience began to take their seats, final sound checks were made and the orchestra tuned up, ready for Neerad's opening notes. <laughs> It's been an absolutely exciting experience for me, an interesting experience, because the vibrations of the Philharmonic Orchestra has brought about, has been one that excites the soul. If you become one with what you're listening to, it takes you to a different level and sort of brings melody to the heart. This is so huge, it's so powerful. People should look at this as a new opportunity. This gives the human a different connection, that if you simply sit back and observe and, and let these wonderful sounds of different instruments, violins, cellos, brass, flutes, enter into you, and you see these wonderful people who play these instruments, different cultural components, you get a deep appreciation of what is happening. It's so amazing that we mustn't let this go away. Muhammad Rafi's voice can still be heard on recordings, but a live performance of his music has a magic of its own. It's 
it was lovely to hear the old songs. It brought back lots of memories for the old movies and the old songs. This will probably encourage our younger singers to still remember the famous Mamet Rafi.